it's six o'clock in the morning and I'm getting ready to go and do a class. Mentally, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> Mentally, I'm feeling really shit. I woke up from a bad dream. <sighs> so, yeah. And then also, I've been dealing with some, I guess, mental stuff this week. And I'm just so fully wiped out. I had a gathering last night and I literally, I couldn't do or perform what I was there to do um, by the end of it, literally. It was a bad, it was a bad group of eggs. And I think it just, the idea of failing kind of made me not feel good last night. And definitely, is on this morning <laughs> anyway onwards and upwards i guess so i'm gonna go and do my three classes for saturday and i meant to go meet someone but honestly do i have the mental capacity i don't know welcome to my pump up routine but this pump up routine i'm so sorry i'm just not in the mood but i guess that's good for you to see what can I say? I'm a typical Dutch girl. I'm gonna go on the bike. <laughs> As you can see there. Oh, I really hate it because after every time I go on the bike, I just am so sweaty. If you're not acclimatized to Dutch weather, Dutch weather is like, it's cold, I guess, but it's also very like humid. So like you can be in a cold day, but you're also gonna get sweaty. It's the most annoying thing ever. Anyway, I'm late. I've got a rush. Let's go. We had arrived and I was able to park my bike in a position that was really good. Let's do it there. Let's go. So sweaty and I on purpose made sure that I didn't wear a jersey or something underneath this just so I didn't get sweaty but gosh. so on my bike ride I was hoping that it would clear my head a little bit that I would get a little bit of more peace I would feel better but like I didn't <laughs> I still feel like shit it's like I don't know people always assume that I'm this happy-go-lucky person all the time like I just turn it like I've got it on tap and you know I do use it it is my job to make other people feel happy and everything like that but sometimes I just need a little bit of my own time <laughs> sometimes I just need a little bit of you know what I give them and because, yeah, I don't know, I don't think this is talked about that much, but someone whose job is to cheer people up and someone who really tries to put themselves out there to make people feel comfortable and liked and, you know, uh, especially my classes. Like, if someone has a bad day, I make sure that they're okay. I go and talk to them, go and say hi. I, like, put all my energy into it. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Do I get it back? Sometimes I do. Sometimes, don't get me wrong, sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. And when there's not that energy exchange, it's really hard. Like I talk about this all the time with um, other trainers. When you don't have that energy come back to you and you, you have a dead wall, quite often in, in the Netherlands you have that. It is, it is hard. It is really hard. But so the energy exchange is really, really hard. Um, when you don't get anything back and then the job becomes quite draining so yeah what can you do what can you do just cheer yourself up I'm gonna listen to some really like upbeat poppy music really like hard drops and see if that helps me I'll be back soon Good 
So I'm here. Wish me luck. Let's fucking kill it. Okay, it's 10 minutes till class. I'm gonna start practicing the new club power. I'll see you guys afterwards. So I've got one club power, one spinning, and then another club power after this, and then I'm done. So I just finished my classes, and I couldn't video anything of my classes because I use my phone for everything, and I'm using my phone right now. I should have used my blocking camera, god damn. Um, but I was able to pump myself up for it because of the positivity of others. Thank goodness I had another trainer in my class. And normally when trainers go into your class, when they train for another thing, you know, they really try and they know, they understand, they try and hype you up, they try and support you. And I really got that in the first class. So, you know, that was really nice and positive. And then, so that was my club power, my weightlifting class. My second class, I was a little bit tired. Um, but I still went through it and I still tried to push and it was a great playlist um, and then afterwards uh, the people who normally come to my class so they come to two of my classes in the morning they're troopers seriously they surprised me with um, so they're like yeah we'll take a photo and they took a photo and then there was like this massive explosion of confetti everywhere I was it's just something right up my alley that I absolutely love and appreciate it was so nice So that really got me happy um, but then the problem that I've been having uh, that has made me mentally fatigued uh, and also a little bit upset for the week I saw that today <laughs> um, so then after that it was kind of like you know when you have a good moment a great moment and then you're kind of like it's kind of overshadowed by something negative and I, I really try I really really try to not let those things overshadow um, which I did today I like I was forcing it I was like no don't you dare don't you dare this is good we've had a good time we've had really amazing classes um, so yeah that was a mental battle not today Satan not today right um, my third club power class was full it had great energy there was a lot of amazing people in it and afterwards like most of the class came up to me and thanked me and said that they really liked it and um, yeah so it's really nice to get that justification you know from other people so all in all classes were actually really good mentally am I feeling great 
I'm feeling drained. Uh, and it's sad because I can't appreciate how good these classes were because of it, which is annoying me. <laughs> Triggered. But anyway, so I'm going to get ready to go home now. I've just packed up and um, I meant to go sup boarding today. It's actually really beautiful weather. So I might just tell my friend how I'm feeling and if she chooses to be with me in this moment and me not being really talkative, just fine with me just supping together, uh, then we're gonna go along with that. If not, then I'm just going to basically cocoon myself in my room and just have some chill time, you know? But I need that fun. I need fun in my life, so. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming along with me for my morning. You didn't see a lot, but you saw the preparation of how it goes through and also how a negative mood can affect me and my classes. And I, honestly, if some of you guys who come to my classes and you realize that, you were, that you're here today, none of you would have realized how I was feeling inside. And that is, how trainers are. We professionally have to be happy all the time. We professionally have to be motivating. You know, it's it's a thing that we have to do. And it's not like if I'm feeling off today or if I'm feeling sad or if, you know, my life is crashing behind me that I can turn up to class and have that showing. My job is to motivate and to be happy. So this is behind the scenes of when it when my life does come crashing down for a temporary amount of time and I have to put it on. So it would be interesting uh, if you guys realize what class this was, if you actually saw it or not, that I wasn't feeling that great. Anyway, thanks. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you another time. If you want to see more of me, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you another time.